Anna had always talked about going to college because she's the youngest of our kids and that was just, she, saw, she talked about that being a natural progression and um, so when we thought there might be a chance for her to actually do that, we kind of jumped at the chance because it was something that she just assumed was going to happen and we were really hoping all along we'd be able to give her some kind of college experience. So um, that's, that's all we were looking for, was just to her to be able to do the next step after she graduated, to do some, some kind of college in some form and to have it right in Sheridan was going to be great. I think the people at other college was thinking about the college and how they can put that into some college mm -hmm. and everything and so they were thinking about that for a little bit and then say oh well that sounds kind of fun so I might well, maybe I may not try it and so this year I said I'll, I'll try it so. On campus it's kind of fun because you actually again to know people more and like I think college is kind of like same thing again to know other people. I think the thing was that um, Mary wanted to have this be something that Anna would go through the front door into the college and I think we've lived here long enough and knew enough about the college already that we had always thought that Anna would be able to take some classes there anyway but I think Mary's thing was going, doing it officially, going through the front door, being a student, getting a student ID card and all that whereas if we hadn't had the Think College component to it she probably could have taken some classes but they would have been less official and it would have been more going in the back door. She just kind of feels sort of a part of the, you know, the, the whole college scene, which is exactly what we were kind of hoping for, at least, you know, partially what we were hoping for. Well, usually I work probably five days a week for two hours in the cafeteria in the morning, so like 7.30 to 9.00, we serve at 7.30, by nine, and what I do is mostly cleaning the tables and get ready for the students to come in, and also to the cashier. It's kind of easy because I just stand there and they swipe the cards, and if it does not work, I just type them in, and, and that's all. That's what I do really, and they go through the line and get breakfast. My career will be like maybe dancing, maybe dancing and dancing, and then maybe. Um, I've been studying like um, dancing and like, training and everything. I just like the whole thing really. I like the whole class. I like how like reacting with the teacher and reacting with the, with the students there and learn things in class and how to do things. You know, I think having the option of being able to take some higher education classes, whether they're, you know, academic or, or just, um, you know, more, you know, crafts. I mean, there's a lot of courses out there I think these colleges offer that um, would be interesting to, to all different types of students. I mean academically Anna's not taking terribly academic classes but she's learning. She's learning in those <coughs> classes and I think for all of us if you go on using your brain then you know you keep on being interested in new things and you can keep on learning and we have found you know over the course of her whole education that we we're always told that she would reach a plateau and she'd stop learning. I remember being told that in so many IEP meetings, but she didn't. She, you know, it just shows if you keep on um, educating a person and giving them stimulation and and and, and uh, good um, environments to be in, that they can keep on learning. I mean, she's learning still in her nutrition class now, and that's good for her to keep on using her brain and not think that when high school was finished or middle school was finished, that was it. There'd be no more academics. She's you know, she, she can keep on learning and she showed us that she there is no plateau, she can just, the sky's the limit, really. So that's the other part to it, I'd say, is the yeah. actual, is the learning part. Right, sure. The education yeah. part. Yeah. My goals for the future would be like, maybe get more friends, maybe on campus, maybe. Um, maybe like, move it on to campus, or just basically like be acting with other people. Yeah. And just feeling like you're part of something and, and uh, you know, having some goals. And right. I know that she's got some goals to, uh, like I said, especially with the cooking. You know, she's learning how to not only eat healthy and about nutrition, but also how to prepare, uh, you know, meals for herself, which, uh, you know, helps that whole sort of independence thing that uh, I think, 
she and, and ourselves would like to see in the future that she, she becomes more independent and self-sufficient uh, as she gets older and, and uh, you know, those things get more important to her.